reading by matt ferrard the god blink by jerome bixby astronauts and cosmonauts when you finally reach mars please be very careful what you look like in the shadows of a crater wall on phobos moon of mars gurg and Ural waited to greet the god if the god continued its present rate of approach it would land within moments Rug and Ural had journeyed all night with their eyes on that distant glinting speck in the sky over cold crusted sand dunes and jagged crater walls they had flowed crept bounded oozed toward the spot where the god must land if its course held true Grug was a fsk, which is the equivalent of high priest Ural was a fsk, or much higher priest the best wishes of their people had gone with them on their tremendous mission now at the place they trembled in every tentacle as they peered upward the rust-red orb of mars rode the black horizon mars was as Grug and Ural had learned from their elders and now taught their youngers the stern seeing all eye of it who was the universe from that great eye a day ago had sprung a shining messenger an emissary a god that must be coming on a purposeful visit it had been detected at the halfway point of its trip but there could be no doubt regarding its origin its nature its destination for in the matter of form the god was a close replica of grug and Ural, of all the creatures of their race it was octopidal with sinewy double tentacles and a thinking trunk and a reproduction pouch the only significant difference was that the god gleamed mysteriously as if its angular hard-lined representation of normal form were cast in shining stone as it flew it reflected starlight and the red glow of the universal eye behind it from its sleek surfaces Grug and Ural blinked their own dull-surfaced astronomically far-sighted rust-red eyes at each other in supreme excitement and anticipation what would the god tell them what would it reveal would it divulge the cosmic secret would it tell them the place and destiny of their lowly race had it come to punish them for not being good enough for over-reproducing for worshipping improperly from a selfish standpoint it might even tell them how to get rid of the plink a subject of constant prayer how smoothly it flew while grig and girl and their people could bound about with a great agility in phobos's light gravity they could not fly how wonderful it would be to fly said girl perhaps said Brook. we have been found ready to be taught then Grug twitched as a plink bit him just under the front left double tentacle. He combed the light fur there, found the plink, and shredded it, casting the pieces round about so that no two of them might combine to form another plink. How wonderful it would be also if the god could tell them how to get rid of the itching, crawling, parasitic plink, whose bite in sufficient numbers was often fatal the god began to land it shot red flame downward from its mouth on the underside of its gleaming body red flickers and sharp-edged black shadows danced about the two who waited below they shrank back fearful that the display might be a disapproving communication yet they held their ground knowing they had lived good lives and deserved no condemnation on any score they could imagine the god lowered on its belching tongue of flame the flame that seemed a tiny part a sliver of the universal eye that watched strange marks were on the side of the god's body they were first mars expedition u s space force planet two satellite crew boat number two the last few moments of the god's descent were quite rapid simultaneously the darting red flame seemed to lessen in intensity and length 
then at the second of impact they brightened again to previous power but too late the impact was hard grig and ural gasped as one of the gods double tentacles buckled crumpled with a glinting of shiny hard material the flames stopped the god unable to remain erect with its injury slowly toppled its body thudded silently stirring pumice dust it was motionless Groot and earl stared at each other was the god fatally injured dying dead for a broken tentacle meant that fluids would seep out and soon the dry death would occur the god stirred it braced two sets of tentacles against the ground as if trying to push itself erect the effort was not successful again it was motionless the two double tentacles remained outstretched however and they pointed at the shadows where Groot and earl waited and watched Groot and earl sighed in relief the god had assumed conversation position it must have healed its broken tentacle truly a god soon it would be as good as new for otherwise agony would forbid conversation it was ready to address them now this was the greatest moment of Groot's and earl's lives they waited for the god to speak it was silent a long time passed the god remained motionless though in conversation position and silent a very long time passed then a tiny hole appeared in the god's side it grew larger larger and then it stopped growing larger something appeared at the hole it paused then dropped to the surface of phobos where it began to crawl about it bore considerable resemblance to a plink except for its shiny wrinkled gray skin plinks were purple and this thing was huge huge it was one-fifth the size of the god's body caught by horror and fearing the worst Rook and earl waited for the god to speak damn john cotter was thinking that was a neat bit of sloppiness that landing carruthers will chew me out and in again pause holy cats i hope the radio isn't busted or i'll have a hell of a wait before they follow up and find me the god was dead killed by the giant plink a scourge from which evidently even the gods were not spared the huge plink even now creeping around wrinkle-skinned and detestable its coloration the same as the gods the most loathsome sight imaginable a god plink Grig and ural moved into view from the shadows of the crater wall their thinking trunks tingled with misery sorrow bitter anger and disappointment the blink stopped having sensed them then it darted for the hole it had eaten in the god ural moved to intercept it the plank changed course and headed swiftly up a sand dune with a great bound impelled by outrage earl was upon it when greg touched tentacles with the dead god in reverent mourning in terrible sorrow in loss in supplication earl shredded the god plank two days later a second god was detected it silently circled phobos from the universal eye it did not land it silently circled phobos and then returned to the eye within the day it was back in the company of eleven other gods they landed joyfully mortals went forth to meet them it was quite a battle while it lasted joy quickly ended as the gods died one by one each of them showing the holes eaten in their sides by the insatiable plinks likewise eventually died all the plinks which presumably had killed the gods they fought with strange white flares and crackling blue flashes which only tickled the hides of the faithful then they were shredded religious beliefs on phobos underwent certain basic changes such as the gods or at least their messengers were known not to be immortal nor were the special variety of plink which afflicted them on earth twenty years afterward word is anxiously awaited of the fourth mars expedition end of the god plink by jerome bixby